Let's talk about mixed edema coma. It starts from hypothyroidism. Patients with hypothyroidism do not have enough thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone help us regulate metabolism. So when they don't have the thyroid hormones, their body is going to struggle to regulate their metabolism. They will need to take medication for the rest of their life. The medication they need to take is Synthroid, also known as levothyroxine sodium. What that medication is going to do is to replace the thyroid hormone that their body is now making. There are important things you need to know about mixed edema coma. It is very rare. It's a life-threatening condition. It is a medical emergency. What actually is going to happen to them? Loss of consciousness, risk for respiratory failure, and they are really cold, hypothermia. Their sodium level is going down, hyponatremia. How about their blood glucose? It's going down as well. Their heart rate is going down. All of these are very important. How do people get mixed edema coma? One way is if a person with hypothyroidism suddenly stop taking their medication, guess what's going to happen to them? They don't have the hormones and they don't take the medicine that is supposed to replace the hormones that can lead to mixed edema coma. There are other things that can trigger it. Say they get sick, acute illness, that can trigger it. They went to surgery or they take medication they are not supposed to take. All of these can trigger mixed edema coma. Now, how are they going to be treated? How can we help this person to get better? Remember, it is a life-threatening situation. So we got to maintain patent airway. That's one. Number two, they have hypothyroidism. IV Synthroid is the medication of choice for that. They have hypotension. We need to replace fluid and sodium. IV fluid may be normal saline or hypertonic solution. That's going to help with hypotension and hyponatremia. So you monitor their blood pressure very closely. Corticosteroid may be ordered to improve cortisol level. They also need IV glucose. And whenever you give anyone IV glucose, what do you need to do? Check their blood glucose levels closely. That's important. What else do we need to do? Remember, they are very cold. So we need to warm them up with a warming blanket. And as you do all of this, don't forget to document. Thanks for watching this episode of Dose of Nursing by Rofem. Like and subscribe to stay updated. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section. See you next time.